Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my version of the makeup challenge that's going around right now. I tried following such and such's makeup tutorial with a bit of a twist. So one of my personal favorite uh, beauty YouTubers here is Nicole Renee. Uh, she has like 97,000 followers and I have purchased two items because of reviews and tutorials that I've seen her done. And that's kind of what today's video is going to be centered around. So I bought this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette because I had seen several tutorials that Nicole had done that I just think are absolutely gorgeous. First of all, she's a beautiful girl and her makeup skills are top notch. I don't know how she doesn't already have more subscribers, but if you're not already subscribed to her, you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm going to leave the link down below. Go check out her channel. Her makeup videos are amazing. So I have always loved this green, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's, um, it's this green shimmery eye that she does off of this palette. She's got several different videos where she's used this and done tutorials on it. Uh, I wanted to find one where there was an entire makeup look based around this palette, you know, from start to finish. Um, but the specific eye look that I wanted to recreate is just a video of an eyeshadow. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we'll get into the following of the tutorial section of it. I will say that I am going to be going in with the um, I am going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation and a little bit of the Wet n Wild, a little bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Finish Foundation, which um, I actually really enjoy these two together because I have oilier skin. And um, this is a dewy finish, and this is obviously a matte finish. And so these two together even it out, and I think it's a really good combo for someone with combination skin like myself. So I'm going to head and go do that and get the rest of my face put on and then we'll go through with the tutorial. Okay, so if you want to see how this turns out, stay tuned. Why do they never look the same? Why are they always different? What? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Why do they not even look like they belong on the same face? Okay, so now that we have got the face makeup on. Uh, it's time to go in for the the. It's time to go in for the tutorial. God, I hope I don't botch this up. If I do, Nicole Renee, I am so sorry. I'm really trying my hardest. Okay, <sighs> I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. All right, I've got my palette. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to uh, prime my eye with my shape tape. <sighs> Give it the best absolute possible chance. I'm not completely sucking. I don't know why I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. Like I haven't done my makeup a million times. But I think it's because I just want it to look as good as hers does. And I feel like the probability of that is slim to none. Okay. Let me sit this real quick like. <laughs> We are using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. I've talked about this many times on my channel before. I love this palette. I actually just hit in this look pan on this channel right here. Okay, so I'm actually hella excited about today's video because I really love the way both of these looks came out. But the first one that we're going to be creating is the one that you just saw in the intro. So I started off with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I took Silk Cream and MFEO and I used those together as my transition shade. 
Okay, so I don't have whatever single palette this is that she's got. I'm gonna go in with the shade Vanilla from this Smashbox Photo Matte Eyes. <laughs> All right, we're just using a big old fluffy brush. Okay, so I'm actually hella excited about today's video because I really love the way both of these looks came out. But the first one that we're going to be creating is the one that you just saw in the intro. So I started off with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I took silk I still want that palette. Oh, and I don't have that orange shade. Yeah, I've always, I've always wanted that Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, but I've never ordered it offline and I have yet to find it in any of the Ulta's in the area if this even comes out remotely right i'll never try to come up with my own makeup look again i'm also going to go in with this rose hip color in the transition as well because it looks like she mixed in um two then i took the shade cream sickle and i focused this more on the center of the transition area and more cream sickle cream sickle i don't have anything that looks like cream sickle <laughs> Um, when we start bringing in like the deeper greens, that's a way too it's just orange. Kind of a step to do. Okay, so we're just gonna do what we can here. All right, the closest thing I'm gonna have is gonna be this nectar in the sweet peach palette. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go in with. I, sorry, I wish it was. I wish it was a little bit warmer, but it is what it is. Center of the transition area and more towards the inner corner. This just kind of helps blend everything together um, when we start bringing in like the Hold on, what's she doing? Where did she put this color at? Then I took the shade Cream Sickle and I focused this more on the center of the transition area and more towards the inner corner. This just kind of helped blend everything together. Inner corner. Oh, are we getting scientific here? I never know what goes together. I'm just like, mm, let me just put this here, see what's going to happen. Yeah, this is definitely more yellow than the oranges that's in her <sighs> creamsicle, but I got to do what I got to do, bruh. All right, is this going in the middle? I sure hope so. And I just highlighted my brow bone with that shimmery shade. You could use the Jaclyn Hill palette for this, but I, since like the. Okay, hold up, now we're getting to the Comfort Zone palette. And highlight the brow bone. Is my brow bone highlighted? By the way, the brushes I'm using are from, Co all these pink candle brushes are from Coastal Scents. I love these things. I definitely think they're the best bang for your buck. And also, am I the only person that sometimes when I buy expensive things, I don't want to use them because I don't want to mess them up because they were expensive? Just like such a backwards philosophy. Anyway, all right, what's we're doing next? No palette for this, but I, since like the point of this video was to use the comfort zone I tried to use as many colors as I could from that palette so then I went ahead and took the green and although this is a shimmer and I hate putting shimmers in my crease I went ahead and did it for today's video so I just dusted that in the center of my crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner okay so now I need a more pointed brush pointy feet not the pointy words if you know what that's from leave me a comment down below All right, so she's going in with this green color right here. I'm going in the middle. I don't even see this. Okay, so she goes from the inner corner. Oh God, I'm gonna make it everywhere to the outer corner. <clears throat> if you can actually see the green on my eyelid right now, give this video a thumbs up because I I can't. It's like, where are you Christmas? Where are you, green shadow? Why can't I find you? On a little pencil brush. Then I did dip back into the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, and I took the shade Holy Enchanted, heck. which is a very, very dark green. This shadow specifically has a ton of fallout. Now, I've said it 100 times before on my channel. I don't care about fallout, but I would recommend... Basically, I need the Jaclyn Hill palette to do this because <gasps> where am I going to find a green? Oh, wait a second. I have a green. It's a dark green, but it's a green. 
pack this right on the outer corner and the inner corner as well and I made sure not to bring it above that first green color the light green shimmery shade that we went in with okay so clearly I went up too high with that and then she said I gotta go to the inner corner oh god this is gonna be bad huh how far did she go in with that why does this look black <laughs> This is such a disaster. I am terrible. I'm never working in a makeup shop. That's for sure. I'd be like, excuse me, why y'all letting a crazy person do your makeup? I just wanted to have pretty makeup. That's all. I'm gonna have faith. Nicole knows what she's doing. She doesn't look crazy. Maybe I won't look crazy. Okay. Because this look can get very like messy and uh, patchy really okay. quickly if you don't be careful you want to make sure you keep everything below the crease just so it doesn't look too crazy because I did film it So just keep that in mind. You want to make sure you keep it below the crease. Then I dipped into my favorite shade from the Comfort Zone palette. Y'all, honestly, you need to buy this palette just because of the shadow. It is stunning. And I got so many requests to incorporate it into this a look, look, but so I also got a lot of requests to do a green look and a mauve look. So Girl, she did that dang thing. Let me see. This Look, this color is so pretty. I tried it one time. Hang on. Hold on. I done missed something. Let's go get the shade and miss what she did. This is a look, honey. All right, are these even? Not even remotely. Hold on, I gotta fix one thing before I move along. That's as close as we gonna get. All right, so now we're gonna go in here, and she just packs. It. I mean, this literally. I might have got too much. Okay, so she goes down. Oh Jesus! Y'all gonna really get to know me in this video. Okay, so she goes down. She just swipes down. I look like a crackhead right now, but whatever. <gasps> Nicole, please lead me to safety because I'm trusting you and I'm concerned. So... Oh. Hopefully I'm fitting everyone in this video. I tried really hard. Um, but I went ahead and took that light green and used that in the center of my eyelid to create. So just for reference, really quickly breaking the voiceover, I wanted to show you guys like the difference between these three colors here. So this one is from the Comfort Zone palette, which is in the very center of my eyelid, like the very, very center, which I just applied. Then I have this one, which is like on the inner and outer, like two thirds of my eye. And both of these are from the Comfort Zone palette right here. And then this- Oh God, this ain't cute. I'm not doing something right. I didn't do something right. What did I not do right? I fall out everywhere. <gasps> okay, this does not look anything like hers, and I am broken up about it. <laughs> Got a mess on my makeup table and a mess on my eyes. I have done something wrong, very wrong, and I don't know what it is. Okay, so now getting back I'm going to keep pushing through, even though really I suck at makeup. Right Alright, so she goes in line with a little tiny slanted angle pencil brush on the inner corner and outer corner. What we do to the top, what we do to the bottom. So then I took the two shimmery shades, the greens from the Comfort Zone palette, and put those on the center of my eyelid. Applied some mascara, and I also applied some black uh, liner to my waterline just to kind of smoke it out a little bit more, and applied my lashes. So... <sighs> This is my favorite booty, beauty guru pose. Like, get the bottle off your lips. That's gross. Okay, so this is the final look. I went and put on my nudist lip that I had. Um, okay, so I know I was freaking out during the middle of it, but I did go back in just a little bit with that green shadow in the middle. And honestly, I think it turned out okay. I mean, it's not nearly as good as hers, but I would walk out of the house with this on and feel just fine um so here's a close-up of it okay oh god this texture i swear um i don't do falsies because well i just don't 
I don't particularly care for false lashes. Um, so she's got a little bit more of a va va voom because of the, the false lashes and I just won't have those. But um, yeah, so this is gonna be my take on it. Um, I actually, I kind of like it. Uh, so if you want me to try something like this again, that's like a full tutorial from someone else on YouTube, leave me a comment down below and I will see what I can do. But okay, I don't, I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Dead gummit. I mean, I guess not. I guess that's a good thing. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of the final look. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, also, please be sure to go and subscribe to Nicole Renee because she's literally one of my favorite, if not my favorite, beauty YouTuber. So, anyway, thanks again for the inspiration, Nicole. I will see you guys next time. Bye.